Hello. So in the last video uh, in this channel, uh, we have seen how to use uh, Boolean variables. Okay. So because we use the, these variables, these Boolean variables, to understand the statement if else. Okay. So here in this video, so in this side here, I uh, I explain some idea. And here I will show you the code. Okay. So let's open. Uh, let's write it together. <clears throat> let's first declare a variable. For example, x. X is equal. Let's assign a variable uh, a value to x. X here. The value of x is the three. Okay, so let's use if and as condi uh, statement or let's uh, first let's just use if without else. Okay, uh, so here if x is greater than zero, so that's a condition. So this returns uh, true. Why? Because the value of x, which is a three, is greater than, than zero. So I just see a message box. Let's say just true, okay? So let's run. Let's run the code. Excuse me. Let's move it here. Uh, so here I see true, okay, because three is greater than zero. Okay, if I if I make for example less, so nothing. I I don't see anything. Why? Because I I didn't run this instruction. Okay, because if this condition is true, I I ran all of the instructions until I reach to this sign here, to this character here, okay? But in case which where this condition is false, I don't enter here, I don't see anything, okay? So if I want to uh, use else, so let's just see an older message saying uh, false here. Uh, let's run. So false, because here was what's that mean? That mean here. That mean that if this condition is true, so I ran these instructions here. Okay. So if that's true, if this true is this condition is true, I ran the instructions here before this character here until i find this character i i may uh, run instruction two three or more okay so else else mean if this condition is not true okay if this condition is not true i ran these condition this instructions here so because that so here for example in this case so x is equal three so is if this condition is true, so is is three is less than zero, so that's false because three is greater than zero. So because that I see this, I ran this instruction which which uh, appears in a message box says uh, false. Okay. If for example, if I were right, uh, if x is equal. Uh, excuse me, let's write greater than three. So here I see false because the three is not greater than three. Okay, I ran this. If I write x is great or equal three, so here it's true because that's true. This condition is true. Three is great or equal three. Okay. So uh, 
I just want to tell you, I just want to tell you, excuse me for that, uh, I have already created uh, a keylogger with Ata Hotkey, and that's too, so, so, so simple to code it yourself, okay? If you want to, to, to see my tutorial showing you how to code your keylogger step by step, you can find just follow the link below you will find my my tutorial okay my video tutorial okay i hope that you uh that you subscribe to my channel and i hope that you like this video and see you later